hey guys welcome back to my channel edge motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as main animation as always. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is also 30 seconds and background color. I'm going to choose black color. Simply hit OK and hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action. Then select your text tool and select any font you want. I'm going to choose Oswald font like this and I don't want any stroke. And for the color, I'm going to choose white color and tap your text like this. And let's select this text, hit Ctrl X. I'm going to create new layer and press Ctrl V. So I'm going to type this keep and chasing text. Now select this text and I'm going to choose all caps. And let's decrease the font size a little bit. And also instead of semi bold, I'm going to choose light version of this font. Let's select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now select this chasing word go to the character menu and choose all caps press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now press s for scaling option and scale it like this select the skip text press p for position and let's move this over here now select this chasing hit ctrl d from here i am going to change color to aqua go to the character menu i am going to choose black color and in the stroke i am going to choose white stroke like this so we'll get something like this now hit you now let's select this skip text and click on this option let's go to the animate and choose position let's bring this position over here go to the range selector and you can animate it like this now let's create one keyframe over here let's zoom in go to around 1.5 frames and let's make this 100 so select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this over here and let's move this over here okay now let's go to the add menu go to the property and choose opacity and let's make this opacity zero like this so if you hit play we will get something like this also go to the add menu go to the property and let's choose tracking and let's make this minus like this so we will get something like this now select this animator one hit ctrl c to copy let's disable this now let's hide this this chasing now select this chasing word and go to the start and press ctrl v hit u so we'll get this kind of animation now hit u again so we can select the both the keyframes select this and let's move this a little bit forward so we will get something like this okay now after that uh, we need to add one stroke uh, so i'm going to choose my pen tool i don't want any fill so let's delete this fill i want stroke so i'll choose white color for the stroke and simply hit ok and from here to here i'm going to create one stroke and let's make this stroke with 10 like this select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now go to the start press s let's unlink this create one keyframe over here go few frame forwards create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this scale not here but here or uh, i think we need to do this we need to add trim path for this instead of scaling animation so let's go to the add menu and we'll choose trim path go to the trim path let's make this start 50 and end property also 50 create one keyframe at the start and one keyframe at the end hit u go to somewhere around over here and let's make this zero and let's make this 100 select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this now select this shape layer let's move this over here 
so it will come like that and press p for position create one keyframe select this hit control there to duplicate it with you or you can press p now go to around four second let's select this shape layer let's move this over here select this one and let's move this over here okay so you'll get something like this select those keyframe and hit f9 now we will select this paint tool i don't want any stroke so i'll delete this stroke and for the fill i'm going to choose red color and simply hit ok and let's lock all of these layers now and make sure that you are at four second then create from here to here then from here to here to here i'm going to create one shape like this and this is gonna be my match mask so hit enter and let's call this layer as mask now in search option i'm going to type path so we'll get this path one so create one keyframe go over here now select your selection tool and with the help of that i'm going to create these two points and by holding shift i'll move them over here then select this much points and let's move them over here so we'll get something like this now select those keyframe and also hit f9 okay so now i'm going to select those keyframes hit f9 again go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so we'll get something like this now hit u now as you guys know that we have created one extra text if you see with the black color and stroke so we'll bring this mask over here after this text press f4 and you can choose alpha mat so if you see this animation now now after this stroke i'm going to select this mask and this chasing text and let's move this over here because i want that it should animate over here so instead of moving over here let's hit u as you guys know the animation starts from here so press alt open bracket like this so let's see we have something like this and something like this okay so this is gonna be my text animation now i'm going to create this tech uh, paint tool i don't want any fill so i'll delete this fill i'm going to choose one stroke so i'm going to choose white color for the stroke let's move create one from here let's make this five press ctrl alt home press v and let's move this over here now go to the add menu and i'm going to choose repeater go to the repeater go to the transform repeater one and let's move this 10 and let's increase this copies like this let's select this bring this over here let's unlock this select this and choose alpha so now we are having these lines and then we are going to have this text and choose quarter resolution and i'm going to select this keep text and i'll move this over here so it will animate after that okay so hit ctrl a to select all of them press ctrl shift c to make it pre-comp and i'm going to type first text animation and hit ok select this press s to scale it little bit choose for resolution and now select this go to the shape options and i'm going to create one mask for this one select this hit ctrl d press m again and make this mask inverted select both the text i mean both the layers press p for position create one keyframe over here go to somewhere around over here create another keyframe select this let's move this downwards select this let's move this upward like this now go over here let's select this and move this over here go to the start select both the uh, layers press m let's go to the mask one create one keyframe at mask feathers then go to mask feather over here create one keyframe at mask feathers hit u go over here let's make this 40 and let's make this 40 or let's make it 80 and 80 let's see i think we should make it 50 by 50 
okay now select those keyframe and hit f9 i think we need to make it 20 because it looks too much okay now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here like this okay now let's select your text tool and i'm going to type select this text i don't want any stroke i am going to choose white color let's choose the light version let's decrease the font size and let's make this 40 or let's say 100 now select this text press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this let's go to the start and let's move this over here now select this i don't want any stroke so i delete this stroke and i want fill color white or let's say red and hit ok and let's go over here and we'll create one shape like this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically go over here let's move this over here press s let's mine link it on link this and let's make this zero create one keyframe go over here let's make this 100 select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move these handles over here and move these handles over here and now i am going to choose alpha mat so if i see this i am going to get this kind of animation now right click new and i am going to create one null object i am going to select all of them and i'll make it apparent with this null one select this null one press p alt click on the stopwatch and type wiggle uh, 3 comma 3 and let's see what we are gonna get we will get this wiggle animation over here like this now let's go to the start let's create one keyframe at the scale create one keyframe go to somewhere around over here and let's make this 110 so or let's make it 115 or 120 so we will get a little bit of scaling animation also for our animation like this now right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and we need to search for glow effect on it and simply apply this glow effect let's make this glow 3 on 90 let's make this glow radius 100 and glow intensity 0.5 so we will get something like this now let's go inside this first animation and we need to do certain changes over here select this key go to the character menu and we are going to choose green color over here select this lines let's go over here select this red color like this let's go to the main animation so we are going to get something like this select this text also from here i am going to choose this color let's go inside this select both the layers make it something like this only also i'm going to select this color and over here i'm going to choose this green color only so we we'll get something like this and in for this text let's choose white color and let's see what we will get okay so we are going to get something like this now select all of them press ctrl shift c and let's call it as final text and hit ok hit ctrl d select this press s and let's scale it like this press t and let's make this opacity 10 and now if you see this we are gonna get something like this and if you want then you can move this a little bit forward so first it will start to animate this thing and then the background so we will get a little bit of alternations in our animation and then press n so your final output is ready so that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then, stay tuned.